Buck Martinez, they're going to have to deal with the guy who has been a dominant pitcher. Look at the 2022 numbers for Urias. High, high pop up on the infield. Alan Trejo makes the catch. And you play guys to pull with the shifts. Roller up the middle. Urias on to first in time. And there's two outs. Here's Urshela now. 2 1 pitch hit hard and on a line and right at Isaac Paredes. Julio Urias, a nice, tidy 1 2 3 first. Bottom of the first in Phoenix. Randy Rosarena drills one to center field. First pitch swinging, bangs it off the wall and into second base. Just like a postseason game for a Rosarena. One pitch, a double, and Mexico is in business. Mm -hmm. Colombia trying to squeeze that run at the plate. Slow roller, and that's not going to get it done. Urshela across the diamond, and Chris Matt gets a huge out here. Let's see what he's got three and two. Soft pop up behind the plate. Diaz tosses the mask, and Nabil Chris Matt works out of trouble. The leadoff double by Rose Arena, but no runs for Mexico. And Arias opens the second. And Aria strikes out Alfaro. That's that great changeup. He turns it over and it runs down and away from Alfaro. 2-2. Two -two. Another strikeout. And another tick up on the radar gun, 95. Yeah, emotions and adrenaline starting to kick in here for Urias. For Colombia, hard ground ball, backhanded there. Urshela across, got him! How about that? Oh my, what a play. Look at the range here. And then he takes a couple of strides and jumps and fires a high throw right on the money across the diamond. One of the best third basemen in all of baseball. Julio Urias has been perfect through three innings. He's only thrown 33 pitches and he's pitched, mixed his pitches very effectively. Four strikeouts through the first nine batters in this inning and he's only thrown 33 pitches. 0-2 oh, swing and a miss. Ramirez goes down on strikes. So three and two thirds. A perfect baseball for Julio Urias. Got him. Buried it. Barnes blocked it and gets the out. Julio Urias is cooking with a low pitch count in a scoreless game. Hit hard. Diving stop. Diaz on his feet gets the out. And you know what? When the pitchers are throwing a lot of strikes, the defense is on their toes. They don't get lazy you think about ball one ball two pitchers are throwing strikes so the defense has to be ready for action and they have responded very well so far in this game Mexico for the second time in this game has a runner in scoring position Orlando Cabrera Benji Gill ground ball base hit left field Mariaga is charging Manessis is coming throw to the plate safe Mexico a one nothing lead Mariaga makes a pretty good attempt here. He charges it very well, comes up throwing, but it drifts just a bit on the outside. Had that been online right over the plate, it was going to be bang, bang. Good slide by Manessas as he goes to the inside of home plate. Alfaro, Diaz, Rodriguez for Colombia here in the fifth. Driven, left field, hit well, hit deep, off the wall. Alfaro wasn't running hard, now he has to kick it into gear and he cruises in with a double. Well what a response to Mexico scoring a run. Alfaro with a leadoff double here in the fifth. From the first swing he took he's just trying to hit a ball hard someplace. Breaking ball he does hit it hard down the line into the corner. Alfaro will score. Colombia has tied it. Elias Diaz. 51 RBIs last year for the Rockies and he comes up with a big one here for Colombia to tie the game. And now Reynaldo Rodriguez. High deep in the corner. A Rosarena and it's gone. A two run shot from perfect game to three runs. The MVP of the Caribbean series in 2022 blasts one to left and it's 3 1. This is a big moment with a Rosarena at the plate. First base is open. One two liner deep left gone. It's tied. First base was open. The Romero got in front of him right away. 0 and 2 and the <laughs> the home run sombrero and a 3 3 game.
Luis Urias has power. 16 home runs last year. That might be two. Frias Diaz got the double play and Columbia gets out of the inning. Julio Vivas gets the ground ball he needed. Patient play by Frias the shortstop to Diaz the second baseman over to Rodriguez to end the inning and strand the base runner. And now Ronaldo Rodriguez who's lined to left and then homered to left. Up the middle off the pitcher and into right field. That's a base hit. Now far around third he's going to score and Columbia's back on top. Boy Ronaldo Rodriguez for a late replacement who wasn't supposed to be here. A two run homer and now an RBI single. Barnes at first Thomas at third. Bouncer up the middle in the center field. Mexico ties it again racing for third is Barnes. They shifted Verdugo but not that extreme of a shift. And he snuck it through. Beyond his reach it sneaks by and again we are tied. Extra innings. Alfaro started the inning at second. Rodriguez after the fly ball out an infield single. And Campero getting his first at bat in the eighth spot. Breaking ball, soft hopper, and it's dropped at short. And Columbia has a run. Urias, who had moved over from second, it was a tricky hop in that it had spin, and it was soft, and it's 5 4. Mexico and Colombia who have the talent to advance Mexico is going to put a pinch runner at second base to open the bottom of the 10th and that's a big strike out there first out of the inning comes on a good fastball he has got a big time on now Tellez Duran at second one one pitch in the air to the left that's Ramirez who makes the catch now it's down to this all of the back and forth. Mexico taking a lead Colombia reclaiming it losing it now in extras Mexico's down to their last out Zuniga runner goes pitch is taken throw to third and he steals it late to third was Urshela he was holding with the pitch and I'm almost surprised that, that Diaz even threw the ball tying run is at third bottom ten two outs Zuniga ready Paredes ready. One two got him ball game Columbia does it. He threw the slider and threw a good one and locks up Paredes. He didn't think he would come with a breaking ball and what a game. Huge win for Columbia. We mentioned how close they were advancing in 2017. Now they've got a leg up at least on Mexico.